This is the story of two women, Maria Mikado, 47, and Lucien Lovu, whose lives were brutally cut short in an act of unimaginable violence. On August 17, Maria and Lucia, along with Lucia's husband, went to the Anvervat farm near Sabaeing. They were there to salvage what they could, expired dairy products discarded by a merchant. In a place where resources are scarce, even discarded items can mean the difference between hunger and survival. But what should have been a simple act of gathering food turned into a nightmare that none of them could have imagined. As they worked, they were confronted by the farm owner, Zachariah Johannes Olivier, 60, along with Andrian Rudolf de Wet, 19, and William Musora, a Zimbabwean national. What happened next defies comprehension. The trio allegedly opened fire on the women and Lucia's husband, with no warning and no mercy. Bullets tore through the air, and in those moments, lives were shattered forever. In a courtroom in Mangkwang, the three accused appeared briefly on Friday, facing charges that include attempted murder, possession of unlicensed firearms, and defeating the ends of justice. For William Musora, there's an additional charge of being in the country illegally. But these charges cannot bring back the lives lost. They cannot erase the horror of what Maria and Lucia endured. After shooting the women, it is alleged that they were thrown into a pigsty, a place where their bodies were left to be further desecrated by the animals. Their lives ended in a way that is too painful to fully comprehend. Lucia's husband, injured and traumatized, managed to escape the horror. He is now recovering in a hospital, but the wounds he carries are far deeper than what any doctor can heal. It wasn't until three days later, on August 20th, that the police learned of this heinous crime. By then, it was too late to save Mariah and Lucia. Their bodies were found in an advanced state of decomposition, bearing the marks of the violence inflicted upon them. As the case unfolds, we are left to grapple with the brutality of these events. The farmers are now in custody, their fates to be decided in court on August 30th. But for the families of Mariah and Lucia, no verdict can bring back the women they lost. This story is a reminder of the fragility of life, of how in a single moment, everything can change. It's a call for justice, not just for Mariah and Lucia, but for all who have suffered in silence, for all who have been wronged. As we wait for the trial, we stand with their families, with the community, and with all who demand that justice be served. Their voices will not be silenced. Their story will not be forgotten. Justice for Mariah Mikado and Lucien Lovu. Rest in peace.